All right, BFIT Nation. Good Monday morning to everyone. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. I hope everyone is having a great start to your Monday. Welcome to our BFIT Live channel. All right, team, our BFIT Live program, our time to focus on ourselves, our minds, our bodies, and our strength as we progress throughout the week to help progress and again, succeed and work on our strength and health and wellness for today. So be fit live coming to you with a live programmed workout for today. All right, team, uh, before we get started, leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're joining from. Um, if you have any questions about today's movements, about any activity and about any uh, progression or regression, scaling back on any movements of the strength, and resistance-based movements, uh, let us know. Leave us a note in the comments below and we will um, do our best. And I will do my best to answer any questions you may have, team. All right? All right, BFIT Nation. So as we all do every Monday, um, our timing for today, again, I'll start us off here. Our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements for today, and then one minute rest in between each round. Once again, it's going to be uh, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, which I'll go through with you, and then uh, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. The, that 60 seconds of rest will give us time to reset our minds, our bodies, and get ready for that next round, team. All right. I see that we have our cameras up and running. So, Sergeant Barry, yes, ma'am. Welcome back to our BFIT Live. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh yeah, good. Thanks. Sorry, I had a technical <laughs> difficulty, but no, I'm doing good. I missed a couple of weeks of our workout, so I'm excited to be back today. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we're we're looking good. We're ready to go. We are um, focused, and we're ready to hit our BFit Live program nice and strong for today. So, again, BFit Nation, welcome. Grab that towel. Grab that water. I will go through some demo movements for you. The four movements for today which is gonna be resistance and cardio-based movements for today. So think about a high intensity movement followed by a strength and resistance-based movement to really focus on dialing in our strength for that movement for today. So if you uh, we are working with some dumbbells, uh, think about that generalized, uh, think about that movement that you're about to accomplish for any strength movement, okay? Really slow down that tempo just a little bit while we work on building up that strength for the targeted muscle groups that we are going to accomplish. Then we have two cardio-based movements to really think about getting our heart rate elevated and burn those additional calories while we uh, tax our bodies with some cardiovascular work for uh, two movements. So let's start off with demos, team. Let's start off with demos. So that way we know exactly what we're going to tackle for today's workouts. Um, again, let us know um, in the comments if you uh, have any uh, questions and let us know where you're joining from julie hi so nice to see you in our chat ethel hello hello and carla um again make sure and share this with your with your uh facebook live friends and family uh just like any uh partner with myself and sergeant barry uh we help keep each other accountable and you can do the same by sharing this facebook live be fit live program to your friends, to your family, to your spouses and your siblings, and everyone to keep each other accountable and work out together. Think about this as a challenge, team. Think about it as a challenge to share and uh, help keep each other accountable uh, while working out and getting healthy and fit. All right, team, so the four demos for today, let's look at grabbing two dumbbells here because we have a curtsy squat with a bicep curl. All right, so I'll do this movement without dumbbells first. And then that way we can scale up if you do have dumbbells. So let's think about coming to the center of our workout space here. We're gonna take one leg, our right leg, for example. Our hands are gonna be placed shoulder width apart and at our sides. From here, we're gonna go into that curtsy squat, which just means that rear leg is going to extend back and over our center line here. So that little curtsy, that knee, your front leg wants to point straight ahead as we drop down into that squat, that nice uh, compound position here, that nice, uh, really tight position. And from here, we're going to bicep curl on the bottom of this movement, come back down, and then extend right back up to standing position. And then we'll go back with our left leg here. We're gonna go back and over in one motion here. So, so from standing uh, back over into that curtsy, down into your reverse squat, and then into your bicep curl and then driving back through that front leg, through that heel, engage your quad and your glutes as you come back to standing position. 
and we're going to alternate left arm or left leg and right leg with a bicep curl at the bottom. Okay. If your hips are tight as we go through our dynamic stretching, make sure to focus on those hips. All right. The hip flexors, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. So that way that curtsy squat feels comfortable for you. If you feel any discomfort in that curtsy squat with that rear leg going back and at an angle crossing that center line, go ahead and go into a reverse lunge right here into a bicep curl. That'll be the modification there. And we will drop that rear knee down to our comfort level as we keep that chest up into that bicep curl. All right, that's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, we are on deck here for a little bit of a high tempo pace. Five and two is gonna be our rep count here. All right, we're gonna have five double foot mountain climbers and then two push-ups. All right, five double foot mountain climbers and two push-ups. So we're gonna attack our core, our shoulders, our arms, our glutes, our lower body with those mountain climbers. And then we have two push-ups to go into. All right, team? So just like always, we are gonna go into our high plank position. Our feet are gonna be together. Our hands are gonna be stacked underneath our shoulders. Our back is flat and our hips are gonna be squared to the floor. From here, we're gonna take both our feet. We're gonna drive up into that knee tuck and extend right back out into that high plank position. So we have five knee tucks, five double foot mountain climbers. If we need to um, mix this up or if the double foot doesn't seem too uh, comfortable for you, let's go into single leg, all right? So give me 10 single leg mountain climbers or five double foot. Out of those two um, mountain climber options, we have two push-ups, one, two, nice strong push-ups if we need to regress. Let's drop down to our knees and lead with our chest as we go down into that push-up. All right, again, our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders and our back is flat for those push-ups. Lead with our chest here. Try not to dip down with that head up, but keep that head down in a neutral position. We wanna keep our spinal alignment here from our neck all the way down to our spine, all right? Keep that spinal alignment there for injury prevention. So five knee tucks and then two push-ups. All right, team, that's gonna be movement number two. Movement number three, we are back with one dumbbell because we have a goblet squat to an overhead press. So goblet squat here, we're gonna grab one head of the dumbbell. We wanna set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart because we have a squat to execute here. All right, feet shoulder width apart, as always, soft bend at those knees. We're gonna push those hips back and down with that squat lowering to our comfort level. Those front knees should be tracking over our toes and that chest and head is up. All right, team. Elbows are underneath our wrists for the most part, for the most support. Drive up out of that squat and then into an overhead press. All right, team. Activating our shoulders, our head and our anterior, the front of our shoulders here to grab a little bit of strength here. So combo movement here with that squat into an overhead press. Nice controlled movements here for movement number three, okay? With that overhead press, think about grabbing a weight that is challenging, but yet something that you can press overhead to help stabilize with our shoulders, all right? That's gonna be movement number three. And movement number four, we are back on the floor here. We're gonna be on our backs actually. So if you have a mat that you feel comfortable with using, go ahead and grab that for exercise number four because we have knee tucks with an in and out scissor kick, okay? So that's gonna look like this. We are on our backs here. We are going to bring our knees extended all the way out, legs all the way out, come up into our knee tuck. From here, we extend out and our legs go out and come right back in. Then we have that knee tuck. Really think about engaging our core. Nice quality reps here. Our knees are gonna bring up. And if our hips can come up as well to really focus on engaging our core, that's gonna be ideal here. So legs out, fully extended, knee tuck, Extend out again, and then open legs, close legs, and we're right back in. All right, team. That's gonna be movement number four, which is a knee tuck and scissor kicks. If we wanna stick just to knee tucks, let's go ahead and do that. If we wanna do single leg knee tucks, that's perfectly fine as well. That'll give us a nice little break if we need it. And again, heels can come off the floor if we need to modify. Off the floor, bring them in and then back on the floor, okay? And then bring them right back in. All right, team, that's gonna be the modification for number four. How does that sound, team? <laughs> fantastic, full body, <laughs> I like it. Full body, yes, man, Sergeant Barry, way to go. Mike, 
Jones, very good for your lower back. Yes, sir. I hope you're joining us for today's workout. Let us know as we go through, Mike, how you're liking each modification and each exercise as we go through, team. All right. I hope we're all ready to go. We're going to jump into some modifications. I'm sorry, just some dynamic stretching before we get ready to jump into our workout. So, Sergeant Barry, let's do this. Let's have some fun while we do it as well. <laughs> Absolutely. And a great way to start off your Monday. Again, nice and strong with us with our BFIT Nation team. So dynamic stretching here. Let's think about raising our heart rate uh, through our dynamic stretching and then we'll lower it right back down. So let's start off with some hip circles, okay? Some nice low impact hip circles, right leg back, right leg forward. I mentioned with that curtsy lunge and that goblet squat that you may need um, to open up our hips, to really warm up our hips, to get our hip flexors, our glutes, our quads, nice and opened up, nice and stretched out and ready to go for these movements, okay? So this is, these are a few different dynamic stretches that can really help you out throughout the day, not only throughout today's workout, but throughout your day. If you're feeling tight um, after these few dynamic stretches, you can really feel the difference on moving throughout your day just by performing some of these dynamic stretches, okay? Just a few more here on your left leg and right leg, back and forward, last rep here. All right, team, let's go into a dynamic quad stretch. So we're gonna take that right leg, extend it back to our glutes, push those hips forward, alternate hand goes up. So right leg is back, left arm is up, extending all the way forward, all the way up top and bring it right back down. We'll do each of these for about 30 seconds. Alternate left leg, right arm. Right leg goes back, make sure to push those hips forward. So you're engaging in your glutes, pushing those hips forward. You'll feel that stretch in your quad, but also in your hips, as well as sending that opposite arm up and overhead, really engaging your mid to upper back, your traps and your shoulders for some mobility work here. That way we, when we go down into our high plank position, it won't feel too stiff, as well as that overhead press for that goblet squat on movement number three. All right, team, just a few more here. Feels nice and good. Really sit in if you really need to for those hips. All right, team, let's go into lateral lunges here. Fixed feet, our toes are gonna straight, our toes are gonna face forward here. We're gonna shift our weight over to our right and our left, really feeling the stretch inside your inner thigh. Nice and comfortable here, nothing too aggressive. Nice and light here. Again, we're focusing on just getting some blood flow into our body. Our heart rate is elevating just a little bit, getting our minds and bodies prepared to work. If we've been seated for a long period of time uh, this morning or through the weekend, again, we're really telling our bodies that we're about to do some work here and we don't want to start us off in a cold state here. So we're just warming up nice and easy. Think about your breathing as well. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhale on the way up, right? Do that contraction. If you're pushing or pulling, that's basically where you want to exhale throughout each movement. All right, team, let's go into a reverse lunge with a reach. So since we have some curtsy squats, we want to focus on those hips, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. So we're going to go come to the top of our workout space here. We are going to take our right leg extended back into that reverse lunge. Drop that rear knee down, that front knee tracks over that toe. That right hand comes up and we just reach over to our left side. Whichever leg is forward, come back, stand back up, and then alternate left leg back, left arm over, feel that stretch in our lats, maybe all the way down our oblique here, right leg comes back, right hand goes over to our left side, good. Go at your own pace here, it can be quicker than my pace, quicker than Sergeant Barry's pace. Good, drive back up to that front heel, last two. Send back up to standing, right back down. Last reach here, sit in it, sit in it, sit in it. Good. <laughs> All right, team, just a little bit more shoulder and mid to upper back work since we are on the deck here for number two and number three. So we have YTW. So we're just gonna work on that mobility from our shoulders, putting a little bit more blood flow into our shoulders and our mid to upper back. So 
sitting, we're gonna stand nice and tall here. Our center is right here in the middle here. We're gonna make, make a nice big Y with our arms. Thumbs are gonna face the back of the room here, back to center. Thumbs back here for our T, nice wide T. Really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Nice big W, again, feeling that stretch in our anterior delts, the front of our shoulders, back to center, big Y. Bring our heart rate back down. Nice deep breaths in, out and exhale as we come back to center. Big W, big Y once again to finish us out. Really hold that squeeze at the top or at the contraction at that big W here. All right, team. I am warmed up. I hope we are all warmed up. Let's get ready to rock. All right. Stacy, welcome, welcome, welcome from Luke. All right. Thank you for joining us. I'm wishing you a great workout today because we have a hybrid workout. So some resistance movements and some cardio based movements to get through for our four rounds. Once again, team, our timing is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I'm going to start my timer right now. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Four movements that I just went through, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. That's going to send, up, send us off to a nice, strong Monday start. All right, team. Curtsy squat with a curl is coming up in 10 seconds or less than that, actually. So find that center of your workout space. That right leg is going to go back and crosses the center line in two, one. Here we go, team. First round in. Curtsy squat with that bicep curl at the bottom position here. Make sure you drive up to that front heel and that chest is going to stay nice and proud here. Good. Think about control when you're working with weight, right? Think about control first and foremost. Think about every muscle group that we're trying to engage and target as we go through these movements. Keep those elbows tucked in close to our torso as we go into that bicep curl. Last five seconds, team. Out in three. Two, last rep and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Drop the weight. We have five double foot mountain climbers and two push ups coming up in 12 seconds. So I'm going to find my floor space here. Five and two, five and two, whatever pace that may be at for you. Let's do it, team. We're up in three. High plank position. Hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Let's work here. Five double foot mountain climbers. If you're testing for the ACFT, this is a great modification for that knee tuck. Out of those five, two push-ups. Nice, strong push-ups here. Good. One, two. Here's that modification here. If we have singles, driving each individual leg for 10 reps. Out of those 10, reset, and you're back down into those two push-ups. All right, team, last three seconds here. Two. One, time, time, time. 20 seconds of rest here. Grabbing one dumbbell because we have a goblet squat with an overhead press. 10 seconds here. Find our breath, find our space. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. Three seconds here. Grabbing that dumbbell from the head, dropping down for 40 seconds of work here into an overhead press. Again, let's control these movements once again. First round, we'll learn it. Second, third, fourth, we will scale up and execute. Good job, team. Remember that breathing. Remember, deep breath in on the way down, exhale on the way up as you press up to standing and then to your overhead press. Last eight seconds. Keep that chest up as you drop down. Last three, two, one. And time, drop that weight for this round. Knee tucks with in and out scissors. All right, team. Nice deep breath here, 10 seconds. Knee tucks once again with that in and out on a scissor. Leaning back, legs are up. Hands can be underneath our glutes for support. One knee tuck, raising those hips, legs go Nice and wide into that in and outs or outs and in actually. Coming back to center, 
we should have about six inches of our feet hovering over that floor. Last 17 seconds here. Keeping our core nice and tight. If our feet need to rest on the floor and then go into that knee tuck and then go into that scissor, perfectly fine. Last five seconds. Stay with me, team. Three, two, one. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Those scissors make a world of difference on control to finish this out for round number one. <sighs> I know. How does that feel, B-Fit Nation? How are we doing? How are we doing, team? Ah, Ethel, all right. Great workout. Absolutely, absolutely. One step at a time. We will get through this one step at a time. Just like every week, 30 seconds of rest here. Grab some water. Say hello to our pets. <laughs> a little pet check-in for our <laughs> reset break. <laughs> Good job, Sergeant Barry. Good job, team. Eight seconds here, and we are back into that curtsy squat with a curl at the bottom. Uh, we are up really quickly in three, two, one. Grab that weight. Back into that curtsy squat, standing up nice and tall. Curtsy squat, down bottom position. Bicep curl. Again, if we have some discomfort with that curtsy, with that angle on that front knee, let's go into a reverse lunge, which is just straight back into our bicep curl. Drive right back up. Reverse lunge, right back up with that bicep curl. If we need to perform our bicep curl at the top of our stand, maybe it's too much for us today to perform a curl at the bottom of our movement. Let's perform it at the top of our movement, all right? Two, one, and time. Good job, that one flew by on me. <laughs> Did it fly by for everyone else? <laughs> 10 seconds here. All right, we have that <laughs> double foot mountain climber with two push-ups coming up in five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go, team. Five double foot and two push-ups. Remember to keep those feet close together here. Hips can come up. Nice engagement in our core. Nice two strong push-ups. Good. <laughs> 20 seconds. Sounds like a lot of rest on paper. <laughs> 13 and out here, team. But when you perform those movements and we're asking our bodies to do a lot of taxing <laughs> strength, it's not. Last three, two, one, and time, team. 20 seconds of rest here. <laughs> Good job, goblet squat with an overhead press coming up. Six seconds, team, catch our breath here. Welcome back, BFit Nation. Welcome back to our BFit lives. <laughs> Good, there we go. Nice and controlled. Set our feet. We always want a solid foundation. Starts from the bottom up here, team. Driving through our heels from that squat. Quads engaged, glutes engaged, overhead press with our shoulders. Core is nice and tight. Through the whole movement here. Last eight seconds. Out in five. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, 20 seconds of rest here. We have knee tucks with scissors. I think what's great about combining two movements like that squat to overhead press, it's a good combo movement. We get a two for one here, a little bang for our buck here on lower body movement with some upper body movements. We're on deck here on the floor, on our backs, getting ready to work here in three, two, one, and let's work team. One knee tuck, one nice in and out, out and in scissor. Good. That head can rest on the floor here, or we can extend it up a few inches off the floor. Fifteen seconds here. I want to challenge us here with our toes. Be mindful of where our toes fall. They should be pointing up towards the ceiling. The whole movement here. 
Last three seconds, two, one, and time. <laughs> As I roll out of that one. <laughs> so very good job, good job. I know just like many viewers, uh, we may miss a workout or two, which is perfectly fine. Sometimes we need to listen to our body. Sometimes our body needs rest. Sometimes uh, engagements take, um, take the uh, front seat, but knowing that we're back at it today, knowing that we are setting our focus on today's workout alone, right? Resetting our bodies and then uh, building on what we've already accomplished. Don't forget about that many, many weeks of hard work that we've already put in. <clears throat> It's great to be back. <laughs> and yeah. it's great to have you back. All right, team, here we go. We are up in five. Grab those dumbbells, reverse uh, cur uh, curtsy squat with a curl. Here we go. <laughs> here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Down into that curtsy, crossing that center of our line. Nice, proud chest. Keep that chest up. Good. Drive up nice and proud out of that curtsy into that standing position. Again, if we need to reverse, I'm sorry, if we need to regress, drop back into that squat, um, reverse lunge, thank you, and then perform that bicep curl. If we need to go into that bicep curl first, let's go into that reverse lunge, stand up nice and tall, then into that bicep curl. Last three seconds, two, last rep, finish it out, and time. Good job, good job, <laughs> team. Good job. All right. Find that breath here. We have eight seconds. Doblet squat to press. Five. Set ourselves up. Three, two, one. Down into that working time. Take this movement nice and controlled, right team? We wanna perform these to the best of our abilities. Injury prevention, injury free. Slow down that tempo just a little bit more. We can focus on where our body is moving, where our body may be lacking in strength. We can really read our body all the way through the movements as we perform each exercise. Eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two, last rep and down time. Good job. Woo, it is warming up here. Yeah. It's warming up here. Good work, team, good work. 10 seconds here, we have those knee tucks on the floor, on our back, five seconds. Three, two, one, time. If we wanna scale up this movement, we could put our hands next to our temple and take that support off of our floor, off the lower part of our glutes and see how that feels. If we have the strength here today, 20 seconds team. But if not, our hands can go underneath our glutes, on the floor, place on the floor, palms facing down, 12 seconds here. Stay with me team. Seven seconds if we need to hold out, hold out those six inches up, out in three, two, one, time. <laughs> Ah, a big hand clap for us team because that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Way to finish it out. Ooh, how are we doing team? How are we doing? Aha, uh -huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. <clears throat> Power sets. Absolutely. What's great about... <sighs> Did I miss a movement? Team, oh, what do we... Words. We did, team. Did I just skip over those? I, I did. Drop so. down for 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Double foot mountain climbers into a push up. Let's shorten it up. Two mountain climbers and two push ups for 15 seconds. Ah, hello, Monday. I promise you, I came ready to work. Seven seconds here. <laughs> ah, three seconds. Two, one. Ah, and time. All right, I'm gonna give you your 60 seconds of work of rest back. Wow, <laughs> I'm having too much fun over here, team. Too much fun over here. 
Ah, uh, thank you, Sergeant Barry, for keeping me on track. My accountability partner, I'm telling you, it always helps. You're stronger with the team. You are so much stronger with the team. Um, I tell you, I was considering not telling you. I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was flying through that set, flying through that third round. I had two practice rounds, and here I am falling apart in that third round. But we have that fourth round to scale up and to perfect and to raise that tempo. 15 seconds of rest here. Grab that water if you need. Towel off if you need. And let's get ready to give that max effort for that last and final set because we are up in eight seconds. Mm -hmm. Here we are, team. Last and final set. Curtsy squat into a curl. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work. <laughs> uh, I was going to address a comment that I saw about power sets. And what's great about this Tabata style, if you will, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of work, is that it gives us 40 seconds of maximum effort, maximum rep periods, and then a quick 20 second of rest. So if you think that you need to do cardio the whole time, running on a treadmill to burn some calories, this is where it's at, right? Really forcing our bodies to tax off with strength and burn those additional calories after the workout. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. Here we go, five double foot mountain climbers and two push-ups. <laughs> I didn't forget this round. 10 seconds here, team, we are on deck. <sighs> Remember our modifications. If we're here, we're not there today. We're in those modification zones. Let's stay with it. Let's finish together, team. 40 on the clock. We're in. <sighs> Good, bring those knees close to our chest, close to our stomach with those double foot mountain climbers. <sighs> Hips come up just a little bit. Nice, strong push up. Hands are stacked underneath our shoulders here. 18 seconds. Good job. Whew. Knee tucks, ACFT shut out. Seven seconds to your team. Stay with us. Out in three, hold that plank if we need to. Two, one, <laughs> and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Good job team, good job. Grab that last dumbbell for that goblet squat to an overhead press. I'm ready to go. We are ready to go. Seven seconds. Catch our breath. Three, two, one. Let's work, team. Bring it back down. Controlled movements here. Just scale up with me. <laughs> Let's do it. Keep working. Keep driving. Keep thinking about Correct form here. Slow that tempo down just a hair. 15 and out. Keep driving, keep working. Out in 10. Good, seven seconds. Four, last rep. Two, one, and time. Good job, good job. Way to go team. Last and final movement. Last set. Last set. Best set or last round, best round. <laughs> Both. 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 <laughs> last round, best round, last set, best set. Here we go, team. Knee tucks with those scissors out, right back in. Feeling that inner thigh work as you control those legs going out and right back in. Good job, team. Stay with us here. If we need to hold those feet a few inches up on the floor, let's do that. Good, if you need to rest, put those heels down for just two seconds. Jump right back in, 10 seconds less left. Finish it out together, out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. <laughs> good job grab that water grab that towel let's bring our breathing back under control bring it under control uh-huh <clears throat> absolutely stacy we're focusing on the on our workout at hand we are focusing on our workout at hand for today remember every day is a workout i'm 
drenched today. They left me drenched with this AC. Our weather is warming up. It's great. But focus on our workout at hand. I like to say every day is a workout. So a lot of these movements that we are performing in here in a controlled environment are the same type of movements that we will perform outside of the gym facility, outside of these workouts on an everyday routine. If it's groceries, if it's kids, if it's getting out of the car, out of the, the dinner table, you know, we are using these same type of movements from that squat position, actually uh, elevating up into a standing position, engaging our core, strengthening our core and our chest, our shoulders. We need to put something up onto a top shelf. We are mimicking that same type of movement here in our BFIT Live program. So a lot of functional training goes on inside of these programs that we can incorporate outside into our daily lifestyle, into our daily routines. This is a great way to spark that active lifestyle that our BFIT programs uh, inspire. So with all that being said, Sergeant Barry, let's switch it, switch it up here. How are you doing? How are you feeling? How was today's workout for you? Yeah, it looks fantastic. It's really good to be back. And honestly, I'm definitely going to tag today's is one of my favorites because it, it really was just such a full body workout. Let me tell you how humbling, like the double mountain climbers, my shoulders are screaming. So I'm like, huh, maybe that's a problem area. So I learned, I learned something that I need to work on too. So all good. You no, know, that, that's absolutely correct. And I think it's, it's gratifying and it's also humbling to know that with each workout, you're able to identify some sort of, let's say, um, uh, some some a, a, a part of a part of our body that may not be as strong as we may think, or that we can focus on to really build up to execute those mountain climbers or or those overhead presses just a little bit more to prevent injury, and also to just scale up our strength where we need. We can fill in those gaps with our fitness, with our healthy lifestyle living. And I think it's, it's a great call out that something as, as, as those uh, double foot mountain climbers can really kind of trigger that activation and that mindset like, oh, hey, I need to work on this maybe just a little bit more. I pull away uh, certain things each and every workout that I'm, you know, that I feel that I may not be as strong at as, as others, but, you know, these BFIT Live programs give us that platform and the foundation to build week after week. And that's what it's all about. It's building week after week and really setting those small um, goals and those small steps that overall over time really accumulate to that big overall goal or the big large step that we not we may not be able to think that uh, that we couldn't accomplish before but now with a few weeks under our belt with our BFIT Live programs we were able to execute those movements uh, better and stronger than we used to maybe it's more reps or maybe it's a better form but that's what it's all about here <laughs> so <clears throat> Sergeant Barry thank you so much for calling that out <laughs> Sure. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, BFIT Nation, everyone has left uh, some great comments here. Um, again, hello, and um, just thank you for joining us for today's BFIT Live. Again, it's, um, it's, it's wonderful to be able to share these workouts with you from our BFIT program, whether it's nutrition uh, at our express stores or exchange restaurants. Uh, we have better for you options in more than 1,700 uh, exchange restaurants. Um, if you did not know, we have healthier choice tags in our express stores. So more than 400 healthier choice tags on products that take the guesswork out of smart, stack, smart snacking options. So visit our express stores and you can find those smart snacking options to help you support just as hard as you come in here and just as hard as you work out or stay active, leading an active lifestyle. If it's walking or if it's jogging or if it's running uh, or if it's strength training, um, you know, supplement that hard work that you're doing in that direct active lifestyle with proper nutrition, but also with the proper wellness within our wellness facilities. The exchange offers wellness facilities as well. Uh, maybe it's chiropractic care, maybe it's chirotherapy, maybe it's um, you know, health and wellness starting from our dental and cleaning care. Um, you know, the exchange has that to offer as well. So a holistic approach, as well as don't forget about a proper amount of sleep. Sleep and recovery can be the best form of recovering to stay sharp, to stay ready, to stay aware on that cognitive, cognitive level, as well as that uh, physical level as well. So we are here to help support you every step of the way, BFIT Nation. And we are here um, with our exchange BFIT programs to help you stay ready and to stay resilient team. So with all of that, Roy Montes here, Sergeant Barry, thank you so much for my push. Um, you helped push me along the way as well. 
So thank you so much. And with that team, uh, we are signing off. We'll see you next Monday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Have a great week.